Aloha, o kumu kimo ke alana ke ia, and I'm so glad that you came to join me. I want to tell you another story today. And you know, I've heard many stories growing up, and sometimes the old Hawaiians would speak in Hawaiian when they did not want others to understand. The reason why they spoke in Hawaiian is because they knew that those who grew up speaking Hawaiian grew up much in the way that they did amongst Hawaiian things and practices and so they would not be scoffed at or made fun of and as a as, as a youngster growing up I would just keep an eye and an ear open for these stories and as I listened I, I grew to appreciate so many things Hawaiian but this story I'm gonna tell you is a little bit different because I found it very hard to believe. Well, you know what the old saying goes like? It says, seeing is believing. Well, about 45 years ago or so, I saw what these old Hawaiians were talking about and I believed. And ever since then, I told myself, I'm going to believe every single story that I've ever heard in my whole life. And it's sometimes it's hard to believe especially nowadays living in modern circumstances and behind me is the city of Honolulu and with all the traffic and the noise and all the distractions a lot of times we think to ourselves my goodness I don't I don't think I would ever believe in night marches but that's what I thought too and this is the story I want to tell you about the night marchers or what us Hawaiians call kahua ka'i o kapo. It was, like I said, about 45 years ago or so, when I was driving home from work, and it must have been about maybe 12.30 a.m. I know it was well after midnight, and I was driving up Laurie Avenue in Manoa Valley, because that's where I lived in those days, up in the valley. And so when I came to that five road intersection where Oahu Avenue, Manoa Road, and Laurie Avenue intersect, I naturally stopped at the intersection, even though there were no cars on the road. And so when I stopped and I looked up into the mountain ridge, I saw fire. And I thought to myself, oh no, that can't be good. Because if there's a fire in the mountains, I ought to let the uh, the fire department no but as I looked up into the mountains I saw not only that one isolated fire but I saw a whole string of fire they were torches an even line of torches and when I saw the color of the torches as was described in the story the color of the torches were a muted orange so I wanted to get as close as I could because if you get too close to the night marchers, it's a deadly sight. So I turned off my headlights and I made my way to the parking lot at the White Oli Tea Room and I got as close to the mountains as I could and I turned my engine off and when I looked up, there were hundreds of torches in a perfectly straight line leading up toward the mountain ridge on the tantless side of the valley. And I sat there in my car and I watched with amazement. And I was close enough where I could make out figures of people. And these were people from ancient days, hundreds of years ago, dressed as they were when they were alive hundreds of years ago. And they did not touch the ground with their feet. They were maybe about a foot and a half or two feet off the ground as they floated in perfectly straight lines up to the mountains. And I sat there and I watched until the last of the torches went over the ridge. And in my amazement, I said, that's Hua Ka'iokapo, the night marchers. And yes, I've seen it with my own eyes. And let me tell you, they are very real. Aloha. This is what I was told when I was young.